In this video, we're going to look at how to set up a couple of basic plugins that are useful to install on almost every website. So the first thing I'm going to do to find a plugin to use on the site is I'm going to go to the wordpress.org website. And if you look at the WordPress website, you can see under Extend, you can see the Plugins link. This shows you some of the really popular plugins and all the latest plugins that they have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for a backup WordPress plugin, which is called literally Backup WordPress. And here it is. And what this takes us to is a page with lots of information. I'm just going to click on the download link and this downloads a zip file. So this takes a couple of moments depending on how quick your um, your connection is. So I'm going to open the folder which has that and I'm going to extract the zip file. So now I have backup WordPress plugin on my local PC. So what I need to do now is go into FTP um, connect to the SAS WordPress uh, FTP server and I'm going to go and find the files that I downloaded and extracted. So here's the files and what I'm going to do is on the right hand side I'm going to WP Content Plugins and I'm going to right click the folder and choose Upload. So now we wait while the files are all uploaded into the uh, Plugins directory. Okay so that's uploaded now. So now if we go back into our dashboard and we go to the plugins option you can see now that backup WordPress is now available there and what we do is we'll click on the activate so now we have our backup WordPress is now active so now what we need to do is set it up So down the bottom of the left hand menu there's a new option called backup WordPress which was automatically put there when we activated the plugin and I'm going to click on configure the options. The first thing I need to do now is configure a backup path. Um, I'm going to change it from the default. So I'm going to let that create the folder. So now all our backups are being stored there. So what this does is this actually stores all of your backup files on your website. But you can also set it to set up email so that it automatically emails your backups to you as well. So I'm going to show you how to configure that now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the two types of backups, which is the SQL only, which is your database, and your full weekly backup. You don't need to worry too much about those, what they are. Just know that activate both of them. And then under mail setup, add your email address and say yes please send my backups and you can also set a limit if you want to limit the size so I'm going to say 50 megabytes um, I also recommend by the way that you use a Gmail account with this because of the amount of space available on Gmail so that's our uh, backup WordPress uh, configured and you can see it's already done one full backup I'm going to click the backup now as well and there we have another backup done so that's how easy it is to set up the WordPress, uh, the backup WordPress plugin. Okay, so going back to the plugins uh, option in the dashboard left menu, I'm going to show you another way to add a plugin. Uh, add new button at the top of the plugins page, and uh, you can search for a plugin here. I'm going to search for the all-in-one SEO plugin, and what you can do in here is from within WordPress, you can do a search, and um, this is the one that I want to install and click install now and there we go it's already installed that was much quicker than FTP so now what we need to do is activate the plugin from within here so now the plugin has been activated but you see the red warning we need to configure it properly so what we need to do now is in the dashboard left menu you'll now see an all-in-one SEO option down the bottom left So if you scroll down, you'll see plugin status enabled or disabled. Tick that to enabled. There's a lot of defaults set here, 
I like to stick with uh, a lot of defaults unless I'm doing something site specific. Uh, all the standard defaults are pretty good with this plugin. So, um, and that's all enabled now. So if I click on plugins again, I can see now that I have all in one SEO pack and backup WordPress are both enabled. So, next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get a contact form. And the one I'm going to use is a contact form called Contact Form 7. And I'm going to search by popularity. And that's a good way of finding if there's something that has a couple of different ones and you're not sure which is the correct one. Usually it's the most popular. So I'm going to download this by downloading the zip file again. Let's download it now. So now I need to just extract all the files again on my PC. And again, go back into the FTP. And here's our contact form. And just upload that folder. Again, this is just demonstrating the manual way of installing plugins. You sometimes have to do this if you've bought a plugin uh, that's commercial or if you've got it from a third party rather than from the WordPress.org website. If a plugin is available on the WordPress.org website you're able to install it using the, the simple search box on the plugins page from within your WordPress dashboard. So um, now I've FTP'd up the contact form and I just refreshed the plugins page and I see that it's now available. I'm going to activate that one as well. So now I'm going to click on settings under that and this is the contact form 7 settings page and um, you can see here it's got the email address that the, that the contact message is going to be sent to and the defaults here are pretty um, pretty good. Um, you can. This is a very powerful contact form which I'll go into more detail in another video but you can just see from the instructions here what you need to do is you need to copy and paste this text, the contact war one, uh, contact form one text here, and uh, paste that into a page or into a widget. So I'm going to paste it into our about page for the moment, just to show the demonstration. So here's our about page, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, paste in the contact form text. First, I'm going to put a heading of contact us, paste the the link from the contact form settings page and just click update for the page. So now if we go and view the page we can see that if you scroll down there's your contact form. So that's how easy it is to set a contact form. If somebody fills in that form and hits the submit button it'll go to the email address that you had set up. Uh, WordPress comes with another plugin called Hello Dolly. This is uh, an example plugin that shows people how to uh, to write plugins and it's a good idea to just delete this plugin. It doesn't really serve any purpose on a commercial site. So um, that's that deleted. And then finally what I need to do is I've got a, war a warning here that there's a new version of AsciMed available. And I'm going to click the upgrade automatically. And that's already upgraded. You can see how quick it is. And so now what I'm going to do is activate AsciMed. AsciMed is an anti-spam plugin. Once you've activated uh, AsciMet, what you need to do then is enter what's called an API key. So I'm going to click on the link there. And uh, here is where you sign up for your AsciMet key. Um, I'm, going to need, I'm going to sign up. I need it for a, a single site um, for a personal blog, for example. If you're using it for uh, commercial use, you may need to um, to pay depending on what your usage is. Uh, and then you can f fill in the billing information, um, your email address. For personal blogs, these are free. So that's all that filled in. And click on continue. And we just need to pick any kind of username. So I'm going to make it SAS Askimet. So that's been emailed to me. Uh, so now I need to go and check that email address. So I'm just going to log into my email and check that email address. And there's my new ASCII key by email. 
So I've blurred out the key uh, that I've I've received here, but uh, you can sign up for your own, just the same way that I've just done. So now I'm going to go back to the plugins and entering the ASCIIMET key and pasting in my key here, and automatically discard spam comments on post holder. That's fine, and click update. Now my uh, my key's been verified and my um, my my blog is now going to have far fewer spam comments. So that's some um, basics of setting up some plugins, how to delete plugins, update plugins, install new plugins either through the plugins page or by FTP. So um, now you can have a look at some of the more advanced plugins uh, videos that we have available.